Ariel Helwani in Anaheim getting ready for UFC 241 alongside Brandon Davis who meets Kyung Ho Kang this Saturday on the early prelims. Brandon, big fight for you. Another opportunity to take a step forward at 135. I'm curious, since we talked about it at length last time, how are you feeling with the weight cut? Oh, I'm good. I'm less than four pounds out right now. So mouth's a little dry just because I had to keep talking. But other than that, man, I feel I got to go run right now. And uh, last time you made a lot of headlines because you said you were running around like 20 miles a day. What did you do for this camp? Still running 20 miles. Uh, just the intervals are at a higher pace. So last time my intervals would be 7 and 10 would be 7, seven miles an hour and 10 miles an hour would be my, my paces on the intervals. Now it's 9 and 12, 9 miles an hour and 12 miles an hour. So it's a lot faster. Um, and I'm doing a lot more bag work and bikes, uh, like Airdyne bikes. I got that from Cowboys. Uh, I stole all of his bike workouts whenever I go out there, so <laughs> I bring those back and we do those too. So collectively, the 20 miles, how long does that take you? 20 miles in a day usually takes about two and a half hours, um, but then overall I work out about seven hours a day, Dang. so that's with training and then we'll do the bike work and then bag work. I'll do about two hours of bag work a day and then probably an hour, an extra hour on the bikes. Seven days a week or you take a day off? Seven days a week. I have not had one day off this whole camp. Uh, and uh, are we drinking or no more? No, nah, no drinking. Not until not until Saturday. <laughs> so you will drink after, just yeah. not during camp anymore. Yes, definitely after. Do you miss it? Oh yeah, oh, I, yeah. I want a Budweiser right now. I promise. You put a cold one in front of me, it'd be hard to turn down. Okay, that's the one. Like that's your vice? Oh yeah, 100%. Maybe put a lime in there. Okay. That's the one. Um, after that fight back in April, you were talking about maybe Sean O'Malley. Things didn't work out with him. Did you like this matchup? Did you feel like it was a proper step up? Yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to come to fight. He's got good wrestling. He's good well-rounded. I don't need to let him take my back because that's where he gets all his wins from. If he can't get me down, I definitely don't see him having too much of a chance. But um, his striking is good, too, so don't let, me, don't let me sound like he has zero chance on the feet. He's a really good striker. Really good uh, ground game, and he's durable. He gets rocked almost every fight, though, so when I try to rock him, I'm going to try to finish him, try not to uh, give him a chance. But like I said, I've been doing the intervals. I didn't get tired in my last fight, and I'm doing the intervals at even a faster pace now. So he's going to have a lot to deal with over three rounds because of 15 minutes, so I hope he's ready. Do you still want that O'Malley fight? Oh, yeah. I'm hoping to go ahead and get a finish this fight and get that for Boston or MSG. I'd be super happy with that. Okay, that's your plan. Yes. It's still him. You still want him. Still him. Always going to be him. Why? <laughs> because he's going to come to fight, too. They keep trying to give me people that are going to wrestle me and stuff. This guy's going to try to take me down, too. I want somebody that's going to come and stand and bang. Okay. Even Zabit didn't want to stand and bang with me after the first round. So, Sean O'Malley can't take me down. So, <laughs> there's no way that I have to worry about that in that fight. Well, first off, it's Kyung Ho Kang. Good luck to you, my man. Looking forward to it, and, and good luck shedding those last four pounds. Thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hoani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff, and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.